Memorials of a Tour on the Continent 1820, XXVI, The Three Cottage Girls William Wordsworth I How Blessed the Maid Whose Heart, Yet Free from Love's Uneasy Sovereignty Beats with a Fancy Running High, Her Simple Cares to Magnify, Whom Labor, Never Urged to Toil, Hath Cherished on a Healthful Soil, Who Knows Not Pomp, Who Heeds Not Pelf, Whose Heaviest Sin It Is to Look Askance Upon Her Pretty Self Reflected in Some Crystal Brook, whom grief hath spared, who sheds no tear but in sweet pity, and can hear another's praise from envy clear. To such, but a lavish nature. Why that dark unfathomable eye, where lurks a spirit that replies to stillest mood of softest skies, yet hints at peace to be o'erthrown, another's first, and then her own? Such, haply, yon Italian maid, our lady's laggard bitteress, halting beneath the chestnut shade to accomplish there her loveliness, Nice aid maternal fingers lend. A sister serves with slacker hand. Then, glittering like a star, she joins the festal band. Three how blessed, if truth may entertain co fancy with a bolder strain. The Helvetian girl, who daily braves, in her light skiff, the tossing waves, and quits the bosom of the deep only to climb the rugged steep. Say whence that modulated shout. From wood nymph of Diana's throng? Or does the greeting to her out of giddy bacchanals belong? Jubilant outcry. Rock and glade resounded, but the voice obeyed the breath of an Helvetian maid. For her beauty dazzles the thick wood. Her courage animates the flood. Her steps the elastic greensward meets returning on reluctant sweets. The mountains, as ye heard, rejoice aloud, saluted by her voice. Blithe paragon of alpine grace, be as thou art for through thy veins the blood of heroes runs its race. And nobly wilt thou brook the chains that, for the virtuous, life prepares. The fetters which the matron wears. The patriot mother's weight of anxious cares. The ampersand quo. Sweet highland girl. A very shower of beauty was thy earthly dower. Ampersand quo. When thou didst flit before mine eyes, gay vision under sullen skies, while hope and love around thee played, near the rough walls of inverse need. Have they, who nursed the blossom, seen no breach of promise in the fruit? Was joy, in following joy, as keen as grief can be in grief's pursuit? When youth had flown did hope still bless thy goings, or the cheerfulness of innocence survive to mitigate distress? Six but from our course why turn to tread away with shadows overspread? Where what we gladliest would believe is feared as what may most deceive. Bright spirit, not with amaranth crowned but heath bells from thy native ground, time cannot thin thy flowing hair, nor take one ray of light from thee. For in my fancy thou dost share the gift of immortality. And there shall bloom, with thee aligned, the vitaress by Lugano's side. And that intrepid nymph, on your steep descried.